Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Ju from Happiness and Crafting So today I thought I would just do a quick flip through um, This is the journal that I've been working on, I think it's finished I might add a few more bits and pieces to it I've made it with the black and white um, collage digital kit that's in my shop So it's a lovely journal, really nice, I enjoyed working, working on it I did find it a little bit challenging because um, I'm not used to working with black and white papers so it looked a bit clean for me um, but it was really good fun now the journal is ended up about six and a half by eight and three quarters um, I've only got one signature in it but I've got a little bit of a spine there because um, it came out sort of like quite thick um, I've got a little dingly dangly here little tassel on there which has got some pink in it because I did add some pink inside um, which is looks really nice so that's the front and that's the back um, I've got some um, cheesecloth underneath here um, and this is just sort of like some silky ribbon um, which is lovely so I've got a little bit of ribbon to um, open to close it up with so this is like some um, really nice sort of like shiny fabric on there um, it's sort of like got sort of paisley designs on it so this is the front page so I'm just going to give you a quick flip through I've edged some of it with some um, lace um, let me just make sure we're in short yes perfect so this is I've just made some like little tuck spot here with the little fan um, cut out there and I've got some lovely little tags a little bit of pink so I think the pink looks really nice um, it just gives it an, a little bit of colour to it little bit of a cluster under there um, here just another little tuck spot I've got a little bit of um, book paper on there um, I've just made some little tuck spots that's just stuck onto the page this was from a Friday freebie um, I've done a little bit of stamping on there as, uh, there as well there's another little perfume bottle with the flowers um, which I've just used as a tuck spot there little dingly dangly one of the little words on there um, that's I've made into a pocket what I did these are the papers which I've shrunk down I put four onto a page I think I put four on a page um, and they look really nice so they really make lovely journaling cards that one is this one which is um, done into a pocket and then I've just popped a little um, tab on here and used it as a little tuck spot and there's those little tiny little um, little cup flowers that we made with the little um, gems in there which I think look really nice this one here I've just done a bit of stamping we've got a button um, I've just got a little um, one of the circles as a tuck spot that is the stamp that I got which is the lovely um, bird cage which I think looks really pretty on there um, just works really well in this journal a um, couple of little um, journaling cards on there in a little pocket that's a little black and white flower a little bit of a cluster um, and I've got the flower trim so I think it looks really pretty in here it sort of gives it a bit more of a shabby look um, so I think it looks really nice a little dingly dangly on there um, some of the pages I've just left um, I've just got a little bit of book paper there and a bit of stamping on there because we do need to write in the journals as well um, on this one I've just actually gone around there with a pen which I think looks really nice um, and then I've got one of the Tim Holtz um, wildflower um, dies on there with a little word that I've made into a little tuck spot the two look these are the, from the Friday freebie we turn over that's just a little um, leftover piece of paper with a little bit of a cluster on there and that's a little paper clip um, I've added an extra little bit of paper in here um, that's got a little pocket there so that comes out again I've used the Friday freebie in here with a little bit of a, a ruffle on there which looks nice um, and then we've got a little pocket there and then a little bit of a cluster there this I think looks really pretty as a little edge again I've just drawn some a little bit of um, leaves and a little bit of vine up there and actually stuck some of the rose trim on it um, which I think looks really pretty to edge the page with um, 
it's a little um, flip out I've got some little dingly danglies on there as well so this just opens up with a little bit of seam binding so that opens up has a little pocket and then you've got like a little journaling spot in there which will lift up which is nice so a little bit of hidden journaling in there so that just ties into a little bow that's a little just one of the um, die cuts on there little fussy cuts should I say this is one of our little double pockets that we've done in um, I've done it on another journal and also I showed you how to do that in the reference journal as well so that looks nice on there I've got a nice big pocket in there which I haven't popped anything into yet and we've got a little um, I've got a bit of lace there and a little word tag a little bit of a ruffle there um, this one here I've just got a little sort of like um, flip here which has got a little um, brad that's a um, stacked up little um, tag I can get my words out and which opens up like that so you can journal on there and that opens up so you've got this to journal on so another bit of hidden journaling and that just slides down to hold it shut um, which is nice on there this one I've just added an extra piece of the paper the pattern paper onto the corner onto the side I mean little cluster there little pocket with some um, tags in there little black and white flower so I'm thinking this is really really nice I really did enjoy doing this um, so that's some of our little things that we made in the little embellishments black and white embellishments that's one of the um, Friday freebies with a little book paper heart on it little tag little word tag this is lovely this is just a little teapot and teacup um, which I've made into a little pocket um, I've got some lace on there as well I think that looks really nice this is the middle of the book I've um, stamped onto a little bit of acetate there which is a little um, like a little mason jar popped a little bow and then one of the Tim Holtz flowers on there um, this flips up so it's like a little right under there or stick anything under there you like another little flip down that opens up and then you've got a little um, notepad in there and that just holds it shut um, and then this is the second half of the book so it's lovely I love all this I like the stamping I think that looks really nice with just odd bits of stamping on there it takes sort of like the whiteness off the paper if you know what I mean um, a little corner um, tuck there with just a little bit of the um, leftover paper and I popped in there it's another little tuck spot these are great for little tuck spots the little fussy cuts <clears throat> another little dingly dangly on there it's a little belly band um, and I've just got a little booklet in there I've stuck in some lined paper on there so you can do a little bit of journaling inside um, these are just little clusters on there I do like the rose trim on here it just adds a little bit of colour to it that's a little side tuck um, again I've done a little bit of um, the little drawing on there with the little rose trim which I think looks great a little bit more stamping on there um, that's a little corner tuck there which I've just popped two little circles on top of each other um, and then you've got like a little corner tuck so you don't glue it you just glue these two sides down and then you could just put something as big and it will come through there as well which looks nice a little pocket there and then we've got oops another page there with some stamping on it with another little corner pocket with some tags in these are still from the uh, Friday freebie in there this is just a little one of the embellishments there this is lovely as well because I've just flipped that under we have got some journaling spot there and that flower just holds it closed so again it's just like the little closure on there which I think is lovely another little dingly dangly it's another corner pocket and I've made a little um, notebook to go in there which looks nice a little bit of spotty paper that is that I had another one of the um, 
bird cage stamps on there which I think looks lovely and this one I've gone all the way around so it's sort of like framed it and I think that looks so so pretty on there so I just did a little wiggly line with some leaves and then stuck on the roses um, and I think it looks really pretty edges that are um, got lace on them another little tuck spot there with the circles and the flower this is one here which I've just got like a little belly band and this just sort of like flips up so I've sort of like doubled it up and just stuck the top one on the top piece on and that just sort of like slots onto the belly band which looks nice doesn't it got another little we got pocket there with a little bit of journaling to go in there um, this opens up opens up like that and then you can journal in there so I've just stuck one of the flowers on and that just closes up and then just ties together with the little bit of lace which looks really pretty I like that and then we've got a little um, seam binding flower on there and then this is the end of the book and there we go a few little pages I put a little bit of um, chalk on there just to add a little bit of colour um, and there we go so I'm not sure whether I'm gonna just leave these I think to journal in I don't want to put too much stuff in there um, but I think it looks really nice just with a little bit of um, stamping on the pages so there we go guys that is my black and white journal with a little hint of pink um, and then we've got the little dingly danglies there um, and I think it looks really really pretty so I hope you like that too um, it will be going into my shop um, I'm not sure on the postage though how long things take to get so um, we will see I will try and find out but there we go just does up into a little bow and then we've got this beautiful journal okay guys well thank you so much for joining me I hope you're all safe and well and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye